would you like to become more organised at doing your family history and would you like to get better research results? Well, we have the Family Tree 12 Step Research Plan and this is a go-to 12 step plan that will help you get better at doing your family history. It is literally suitable for anyone, who, whether you're a beginner at family history or whether you've been doing it for a long time. It's suitable for you regardless of where your ancestors come from in the world and regardless of which time period you're studying. So let me explain a little bit. So I guess there are kind of key questions. What is the 12 step plan? So the 12 step plan has, you've guessed it, 12 steps. And these aren't kind of pointing you to specific websites. These are processes. So imagine if you're trying to get fit and you're trying to get a gorgeous beach body, who cares about them, but if you were, then you would go to the gym and you would do exercises to do your uh, abs, I guess, and your thighs and your tummy and all these things. And you'd repeat them over the weeks and months over and over again. In the end, you get your beach body. It's the same with genealogy. We don't end up with an amazing published family story about our family history, or we don't end up with a beautiful, massive family tree without doing lots of hard work behind the scenes. And this 12 step plan will help you make sure that you have a really thoroughly well, well researched tree and you don't end up in a pickle. So if ever you find yourself thinking things like, not that I've ever done this. Um, oh my goodness, I wish I could find that website again. I found this amazing website. It had all the clues I needed, um, you know, about my ancestors' old occupation, but I just can't remember which one it is. Or maybe you've kind of gone along to a website and you've been delighted because you found a document and you've downloaded it. And then when you went to your digital files, you're like, I'm now downloading this for the third time. And you've just forgotten that you previously downloaded it. So if you ever find yourself wasting time in that way or waste, waste, wasting money in that way, or causing yourself frustration or if ever you've had this terrible situation where you've kind of been meaning to back up your family history for a while and other things happen I know we're all busy and we all have lots of priorities and backing up isn't one of those kind of cool and enticing things it's much more engaging to kind of go down a research rabbit hole isn't it but you haven't backed up your family history and then you have the tragedy that your computer crashes and you lose lots of hard work then if ever you've been in these positions then you need the 12-step family history research plan now if you are a born organized per person click click off this video you've probably already clicked off this video you do not need us but we may need you if you have good ideas and you'd like to share them we would love to bulk out our 12 step plan and kind of give people other faceted you know uh, useful ways to do it so 12 step plan is for anybody who wishes to become a little bit more organized it doesn't matter when you're researching in through history it doesn't matter where in the world you're researching and it doesn't matter if you're a beginner or an expert at doing family history. All of us have little gaps and um, kind of little holes in the way we approach things. And maybe when you read through, you think, actually, no, that whilst I do 11 of those 12 steps, that 12 step, that could really enhance my family history. So without further ado, I'm going to start drilling down into each of the steps. And we really, really hope that the um, Family Tree 12 step research plan will be something you can be a guide by your side. So you can just bookmark mark the um, blog post on which uh, we have all these 12 steps written out we have the little videos to help kind of fill it out a little bit to give you a bit more flavor or you can sign up to the family tree e-newsletter now for somebody like me this is a much better plan to sign up to the e-newsletter because then each week over the 12 steps we're going to email you one step per week and at this point, I think it's worth mentioning that the 12 steps don't need to get taken in order. You can start at step seven or step nine. You can repeat a few steps a few times. But if you do do one step per week, starting with whichever number you happen to join our e-newsletter for, that's fine. You're going to find that we're going to email you a step of a week and that can be your focus for the week. Now, we're not going to change what you're researching in your family history. You focus on doing your family history your way, but you're going to weave in these little organisational tips to help you do it better, to help you do it kind of more thoroughly and record what you're finding. So. Sign up to the Family Tree e-newsletter if you wish, and then we can email you one step per week and we'll just cycle through them. And over the weeks and months of taking these 12 steps under your family history wing and incorporating them into your family history research, then we know, we absolutely know, it's rare you can say this in life, but you will feel the benefit. I promise you.